the greatest game ever created, written by a mad scientist. The best game ever created is a game called Life, and you've been immersed in it your whole waking life. It's so good of a game that I've already lost your interest three lines into this story. You're most likely not willing to explore the idea that you've been wrong the entire time. Yep, the whole time. What an accusation. What a blow to your ego. That's a tough pill to swallow. That would mean that you're not as bright as you've convinced yourself you are. Acceptance of that fundamental truth can only happen when your soul had truly had enough of riding around the merry-go-round over and over. Because that's all we're really doing during these incarnations anyway. We're just going round and round until you're ready to admit truthfully to yourself that you really have no idea what the fuck you're doing here. And you're not able to really figure out, or maybe more truthfully, you haven't even tried. Whatever the case is, the same rules apply. It's universal. It goes like this, the art of problem solving. First, identify discrepancies in whatever system you're analyzing. Second, acknowledging that said discrepancy exists. And third, deciding on whether or not the problem is worth solving, the risk worth first reward. Four, five, six, and beyond. I stopped at four because most people don't make it past step two, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement is key, but it's hard. Because to acknowledge a problem, you must first be willing to accept that you may have not been right about something at some point. And boy, oh boy, we all know how hard it is for ego to admit when it's wrong. That's the root of most of humanity's problems. But we'll save that for another time. Do you see the conundrum? You're stuck in a game 50 50 with a partner that is having such a good time that they're not willing to acknowledge the possibility that their reality is not real. Because that would mean that they're living in a lie. So instead, they choose to continue playing the game. And there you are, stuck in a mobile, watching your immature ass partner play fiddly sticks with imaginary friends every day, day in and day out. No hope, because you cannot exit the game without your partner. You're 50-50. You need each other. So there you go. That's the end of the story. What a game. The end. Sincerely, yourself from above. Waiting patiently for you to wake the fuck up. Peace.